Sabin's Neo Vision Awakening form gave him tanking capabilities. To this day, I've never quite figured out why, and it seems like this Sabin doesn't care about that anymore. So what was that about Sabin? Embracer of Freedom Sabin's Trustmaster reward is his clothes. It has high HP and decent attack, defense, and spirit. It really shines when equipped onto himself though, giving him an extra 500 attack. His Super Trustmaster reward is a two-handed fist with high attack. It doesn't shatter any records, but that powerful beast killer can make up for that. On to his active abilities. Rising Phoenix used fire damage to change the Stardust Ray, inflicts an underwhelming fire in peril, and lets Sabin evade two attacks. Elemental Burst, Fire, can only be used once per battle, and it will give Sabin a massive 150% fire amplification buff. Fill Limit Burst, Fills his Limit Burst. True Raging Fist deals damage that partially ignores the enemy's defense, and chains of Boating Strike. True Soul Spire will take half of Sabin's HP, but heal a large chunk of the rest of your teams, restores 1000 MP, and gives everyone else a powerful double beast killer. Smash it with a Blitz! Will boost Sabin's fire damage by 30%. Activate a Super Lamp Burst buff, and gives him a strong killer against Beast and Reaper enemies. Passes. With his Trustmaster reward or Super Trustmaster reward equipped, Sabin gets a whopping 1,500 attack, and the extra boost to equipment attack when he's carrying a single weapon. He's got 6 strong killers, a big boost to his Lamp Burst damage, and a pretty significant Lamp Burst regen. He prefers to carry a single weapon, needing half the cap to the Chain Lamp Boost. His normal attack has been changed to attack filling his land burst gauge by a small amount. At EX plus 2, he gets Warring Spirit. At EX plus 3, he gets 500 attack. His elemental resistance is also pretty nice. Let's look at his land burst. I don't know who this Duncan is, but thanks to Duncan, Sabin gets to inflict a whopping 40% fist imperil. In contrast, the fire imperil is pretty much average, and the fire damage modifier is just okay. As a super land burst user, Sabin has access to attack shift, which automatically boosts his attack by 250%, his land burst damage by 200%, and fills his land burst gauge when the super land burst is ready to go. The super land burst is pretty much the same thing, but gets a second attack skirt which is stronger against beasts. Time to make a damage rotation. You can replace Rising Phoenix with True Raging Fist if you've got a way to imbue him with fire and have a stronger fire in peril. On turn 1, cast Smash It with a Blitz, fill land burst, and Rising Phoenix. On turn 2, use his land burst. On turn 3, triple cast Rising Phoenix. On turn 4, cast Elemental Burst, Fire, and double cast Rising Phoenix. On turn 5, use his super land burst. Repeat the rotation from here, prioritizing his land burst whenever they're available. So, EX2. As a super land burst user, Sabin automatically benefits from additional EX awakenings. EX plus 2 does spare him the need to start with full land burst. Plus, it lets you begin the battle with the best Fist Imperil in the game. His Super Trustmaster reward doesn't have the best stats, but nevertheless, it's still very strong, and that Beast Killer is incredible too. EX plus 3 is just stats, and expensive. So how good is Embracer of Freedom Sabin? The man has one thing to his name, and that's the best Fist Imperil. It's fairly easy to access too, since it's just on his base land burst. The issue lies in the fact that it's also tied to a fire attack, meaning if you don't like that, there's not much you can do about it. Still, his fire damage is pretty impressive, especially with that incredible Grandest buff, but it must be stressed that afterwards it's pretty much carried by the Imperil and not much else. Now, his Super Lamp Burst does have two scripts, so you can strengthen it further if you've got the units to buff its modifiers, so it does have a bit of potential despite being element locked. However, without any buffs, the modifier itself is pretty average, so he won't be as amazing as the Chrono Cross units with the same buff. He does have, like, one other tool, which really heals your team and gives them a strong beast killer, but the heals are more emergency use, given the ability's fairly lengthy cooldown. Overall, Sabin's a strong damage dealer, but also incredibly straightforward, and being element locked really hinders the number of teams he could have been on with that powerful weapon in peril. Thanks for watching, and if you liked this video, leave a like and subscribe. Comment below if you summon Embracer of Freedom Sabin, and tell me what you think that whole tank Neo Vision Awaken form was about.